Okay, 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 okay. Jada Wada case study. Jada Wada case study. Jada Wada, aka Jada, no. Jada Chiefs, aka Jada Wada, 25 year old entrepreneur slash influencer slash bad bitch slash little baby's ex baby mama. This video is a Jada Wada case study. And we will be delving into her experiences as an entrepreneur and as an influencer and how she was able to build her very successful brand, which is the Jada Wada brand. But obviously now it's like transitioned to Wada Min. But you, we'll get into it. She successfully transformed her social media following into a multi-million dollar business empire. Can we talk about it? Can we get there? Is it there yet? I don't know if it's there yet. So she does share a lot of valuable information about how to be successful as a social media influencer and you know how to leverage your brand in the best way possible. Hi, my name is Volaji and this is Volaji Inc. I am a creative marketing consultant and I spend my days analyzing marketing campaigns and the business moves of your pop icons and also brands. And hopefully you can learn something for yourself. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Jada with a case study. Yeah. Big boss B Where you know, where you know about me Where you know about Shing Where you know about T Where you know about the things that you make me see Where you know about Building an organic social media following So Jada started her journey, her business journey in her teenage years And she started posting on Instagram And she gained a small but healthy following from there She used to post daily showcasing her style, her hair, her makeup, pictures You know, she was giving them the whole Tumblr sexy gal vibe So Jada quickly became known for her unique aesthetic and she attracted a loyal and dedicated following because of that and this was prior to there being like direct money from social media so this was before brands were just throwing out deals and you know you could get YouTube money and stuff like that. This was in the early days. So she was really kind of doing this just naturally and doing it well and just probably doing it for fun. And you know, we can see how good um, Jada even is now with social media, how she's able to just naturally do things that people want to catch on to and people are drawn to. I mean, just a few examples, the Jada way, the baby hairs. And then also, you know, there was a time where she was doing those chunky braids and then everybody wanted to do the chunky braids. And then even that video, that viral video, it's like, I want to be Jada way that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it just goes to show how much influence Jada Wader herself as an individual has um, over social media and like over like a lot of young black women. It's the truth. And I think that probably comes naturally to her. She just knows how to look cute, how to write the right caption, how to edit it correctly and how to put the right hashtags. Ah! And like, obviously I say this with a slight caveat, like I don't even really want to bring up this man's name in this girl's video, but I will because I will. Obviously she was in a very famous high profile relationship and that definitely boosted her following but what I will just say is that pause it doesn't really work the same way so Lil Baby has a lot of male fans right a lot of male fans he has a lot of female fans now but you know that's actually probably because of Jada Hold on, stick with me for a second. When a male rapper is famous, yeah, they will have male fans. I'm not saying that Lil Baby didn't put Jada in a position of fame and power. I'm just saying that doesn't necessarily mean those are the reason why she got all those followers. Because he has a lot of male followers. And yeah, they think Jada's bad, but she posts a lot of beauty, a lot of, do you know what I mean? So they're not necessarily just going to follow her just because she's Lil, Lil Baby's girlfriend. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it didn't help. It definitely did. And it definitely put her in a position where now she could leverage that fame to get more fans. But, you know, I think also she can say she kind of did it herself. You know, it wasn't just a little baby. That's what I'm saying. But with this relationship, she did end up elevating to beyond the influencer. I think she was like kind of like a quasi celebrity, like B list, C list. I don't know, like something. But yeah, it was working for her. So transitioning from social media influencer to entrepreneur. Let's skip back to when she was like 16 or whatever. As Jada's social media following grew, people started asking her, you know, where'd you get this from? Where'd you get that from? Where you get this from? And she's like, hold on. Hold on, very smart at the age of 16 or whatever age she was. You guys are not gonna be just asking me like, where did I get stuff from? I'm gonna be putting you onto all these brands and I'm not gonna get no coins. And this was a time where, like I said, you couldn't like directly get money from Instagram through maybe affiliate links or da 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 da. Like it wasn't just as easy as it was now. Jada recognized the demand for stuff that she was recommending and also she had and saw an opportunity to monetize her influence. So she turned her followers into customers. She said that she created a Poshmark, which is like, I guess it's kind of like a Depop or, you know, just a reselling, app vibe and she started selling her clothes that she would wear and people would want on Poshmark she started making a lot of money from that and then she said okay hold on 
Y'all want some t-shirts? She made the t-shirts now and the t-shirts also sold out rapidly, rapido, rapide. So she's like having to expand operations, expand production because every Friday these things are selling out. She's like, what, what? Me? Little old me? So yeah, that was her first ever business. But she did say that she did run into obstacles in her entrepreneurial journey. She said after she did t-shirts, she started to move on to weave, the hair business. And once again, those were selling out rapidly. But she came into a lot of like uh, production problems and quality problems with the supplies and stuff like that. And she said that she got a lot of chargebacks. And it was a very, I wouldn't say traumatic experience, but it, a learning experience for her. So even she's very open about the fact that it's not always going to be smooth sailing. And she said even though it did well she had to shut it down because it was just too much from her and by the time she was giving out refunds and stuff like that it the math weren't math okay but despite the setbacks and the difficulties jada still remains resilient and she kind of just went back into that influencer vibe but you know doing brand deals and brand collaborations and selling stuff and you know just keeping it cute keeping it classy keeping it uh. pause if you like this video and videos like this talking about people in pop culture the marketing their business you know i really break it down as you can see like ain't no cap in my rap i'll be doing my research yeah moving on to the future so jada has rebranded many times she went from official jada to a more jada to jada wader now we're at wader min she's an evolving brand and an evolving character and i guess as she just goes through each phase of her life a new name comes and i'm here for it so wader min the brand which is the brand that she has today encompasses loungewear pieces i think some swim pieces some casual tracksuits dresses I literally just, I'm assuming, okay? I'm assuming! But it's all about catering to the needs of women. And I know that's incredibly inclusive. So it's like all sizes and like heights and thicknesses and titty sizes. As as far as I'm concerned, I believe like all the collections of Wade Men have sold out like the day of release and then it get restocked and it's sold out again. So it's going very well for her. I think people do trust Jada as a brand because she's reliable, you know I mean? You don't really get a lot of bad or negative press when it comes to the quality of her, the things she's selling. And from watching her videos and just her business history in general, it does seem like she recognizes the need for selling one's own item instead of just promoting other people's items. So not promoting pretty little thing, but making your own little cute pretty little thing she says in the future she wants to get into beauty into skincare you know do a whole rihanna she wants to be a billionaire so lastly i just wanted to talk about the power of social media and influencer marketing i believe that jada's success is partly attributed to the fact that she's able to use social media effectively she knows how to get people to follow her she knows how to be trending she knows how to stay in people's mouths and people want to be genuine. By sharing her personal style and like her personal life and her personal relationship, she's managed to maintain an engaged audience who in return buy whatever she's selling. She has established a strong brand identity. What would I describe the Jada Wada brand identity to be? Bad bitch. <laughs> bad bitch. It's giving bad bitch. It's giving high maintenance you know, kind of sweetie vibe. People do believe she's influential and they do follow her fashion choices, her hair choices, her beauty choices. You know what I mean? They, a lot of people will put just Jada Wada in front of something and then it's something. Jada Wada braids, Jada Wada weave, Jada Wada lips. I've seen it all. Because of her ability to leverage these audiences, it has led to brand deals, partnership deals, kiss, pretty little thing, we, you name it, what has Jada not done? But at the same time, they all are brands that align very, very well with um, Jada's brand in general. She believes that social media is a powerful platform for entrepreneurs, influencers, everyone, musicians, anyone, you can use social media to make money. She said there's bread on social media and you need to get it. So what can we learn from Jada Wada? Number one, adaptability and innovation. I think from what I've described to you and the business story of Jada Wada, we can see that she was always adapting, always changing and always keeping up with the times and offering her customers something new to buy. You know, she probably knows that maybe her customers would be getting bored of uh, buying hair, buying t-shirts. So she was always changing what she's selling and making it very good quality, but also innovative. And people would look to her for what she's buying and want to buy it. Number two, I think she has very good branding. She's built a strong brand and she's also very good at communicating her brand values. But I do think she does communicate those brand values and then people who like that 
are very much attracted to her. So to conclude, Jada's journey from social media influencer to entrepreneur that we see today is a testament to her determination and also her business acumen. I don't see a lot of people talking about her business acumen, but I think after me personally doing some research on her, I realized that actually, you know, this is a woman that knows how to make money and knows how to stay in the presence of money. And that is not something that should be overlooked. Through her experiences as well, she has actually shared some valuable insights that anybody who wants to follow in her footsteps and become a social media influencer and turn that into like a brand in itself should look to Jada. She's done it very well. She's been consistent. She knew what her brand was and she stuck to her brand and she maintained her brand. So she's a very good, good, good example of like how to leverage your social media following into money because she did it. <laughs> so guys, if you like this video, definitely check out my video on Sweetie, which is another case study. So you might enjoy that one. That one's a bit shorter, but still very juicy, still very informative. And if you'd like to have a consultation with me about your brand and how we can take it to the next level, definitely click the description link in my description. And we will talk soon. Bye.